All right, uh, this is Premier Sport Fan Center, and yeah, we talk, it's a fan's opinion from the street side. Yeah, we listen to fans' opinion from the street side, and uh, a lot of matches lined up for the weekend. Big, big matches uh, where we have uh, uh, Chelsea against Brighton, Arsenal against Leicester City, Manchester United against Tottenham, and Barcelona against Osasuna. A lot of important matches line up. Yeah, so we we'll go hear what the fans have to say about their respective club. Yeah, this is fans' opinion from the street side. <laughs> I'm here with Tayo and I want to talk about Chelsea. You know, um, we saw Chelsea in the if uh, EFL, uh, you know, defeated um, uh, Barrow, you know, 5 0 in that encounter. And in the last um, EPL, we've seen them on the road, one back to back, three months consecutively. We've not seen that for, in, uh, for Chelsea for, the long, for a very long time now. But back to back, we saw them got a win. So this, uh, today, the match against Brighton, what is your take? Chelsea Brighton. Hmm. I'll give it to Chelsea. Yeah. Chelsea's in form right now. And look at uh, Brighton match, their last match. It was it against Wolf or Wolf. Yeah, yeah though they, they have a good football, but their finishing is very poor. But let me give it to Chelsea. I'll give it to Chelsea. But on a, good, on a very good day, we've, we saw the battle between Chelsea and Brighton, right? Remember in the last, last, last season. You know, and uh, it's always a tight encounter. But looking at the Chelsea squad, we've seen for the first time in a very long time, they've already lost one match, and that was to Manchester City. Yeah, that was Manchester City. And um, since then, they've not lost any match. The, the worst they got was a draw. But they've won the rest of the matches. So, yeah, right. uh, what, will you, what will you say about the squad of Chelsea? President, I can see them improving. That's what I would say for now. Can yeah, you see them improving? What has actually happened to Chelsea? What made them change? Is it, is it the philosophy of Mareska, is it Mareska the coach of um, Chelsea? Or is it the player that have actually uh, you know, decided to do well this season? Um, let me pick Nicholas Jackson. Hmm. Yeah. He has up up his game, yeah. Look, he's actually up up his game. When we saw him last, last season, he's struggling for goal. Even this season, he has missed a lot of goal, a lot of goals. Yeah. Against Manchester City, they would have won Manchester City, but the chances he got, they created for him, he missed them, and that was why they lost to Manchester City. Uh, yeah, so, and uh, well, how, how many goals do you think Justin can score this season? Last season, he scored 14 goals in the EPL. Do you think he's going to surpass that, uh, uh, that number? Hey, he may, but I, I don't think see him, um, I don't see him passing 20 goals. Mm -hmm. But he may pass that 14. I don't think he passing 20 goals. Uh, 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 scoring more than 20 goals, I don't see. Alright, the addition of um, Pedro Neto and uh, Sancho uh, to the Ch Ch Chelsea squad. What does he bring to the Chelsea squad? Well, it's a good plus to the squad. It's a good, yeah, a really good plus. As especially Sancho, yeah. Sancho, yeah. Yeah, I can see. No, we need we need a player. We need a player that can hold the ball, understand, mm. be skillful on the ball. And I think Sancho is doing that for us for now. Yeah, all right, all right, I think so. Actually, yeah. If apart from uh, Jackson, no Jackson not being the f f um, uh, front man scoring all the goals, which of those other players do you think can take his place? Felix, but he's on bench. <laughs> it's only Felix. I don't see mo most of them are not goal scorers. That's that was what is really affecting Chelsea. All right, what's your prediction for the match? Uh, Chelsea Brighton. No, it's gonna be it's gonna be like let me say three one two. Three one two. All right, you can hear that. Thank you very much for granting us the interview.